Krishan Rock is back in the news after making serious allegations against her older sister, Latifa, who goes by the name of Tifa or her middle name, Tiseki. Now, listen to what was said. Take a look. I remember when this I was seven. Was you made me eat your You said what? I'm done. I'm done talking. But you're going to fucking jail. Defamation of character. You can't go to jail for defamation of character. You can't get sued. Um, but when you sign up for a reality show, you know that people can throw mud. And the mud slinging, we already know on Zeus Network, it's going to be what it is. And to Seki, low key, you kind of came to take Krishan, Krishan's spot because you were a guest star that then became the star when she got kicked off of Zeus. Now she's back on Zeus. And one thing about Krishan, she does have that star thing that people have. And as much as people don't want to acknowledge it, she ain't going nowhere. Well, now Krishan went in to the show and dropped the bomb on you. Now old videos began to surface of Krishan hinting at her claims against Tiseki a long time ago. Look. You caused me way more heart I'm not going to speak about before this, bro. Straight up. I'm making moves, do -do 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 -do. of course you don't have haters, but the same hater been there my whole life, which is my sister. I went home since my senior year, had to move my boy. I'm not going to speak on what she did, but all my family, 12 siblings, other than her, can vouch that she's a liar and that she's jealous. Swear to God. But Tifa, you, you, you this, you that, you make sure we straight, right? You telling the whole world that, right? But where's little PD at, yo? And why he not stand with you? Because he know who you are. Nobody want to stay with a nigga. I don't want to expose you who you really is, nigga. My mom, she been saying stop with Tifa, man. Like, what's on my phone saying how Tifa evil? Tifa this. You going to go down. I don't have a real relationship with my sister because when I realized when I got older, she didn't really fuck with me, too. When we was kids, She was a fast individual, bro. She, ask her, ask her about when she wanted to play house. Uh, Did, what, no, cause she acting like motherfuckers ain't really trying to touch me. Like we don't like each other because our childhood, bro. Don't bring, don't be making shit up. Like yeah, we forgive you and all this other shit. We don't talk about what happened. And, and, and now you're trying to like make it seem like something really happened, something really was going on. First of all, that's all TV. But if we'll be honest, I forgave you, Latifa, for a lot of shit and still forgive you. And look, but look, Kashan, if you're speaking out about uh, allegations that Allegedly. you were sexually abused, I'm going to give you a round of applause. Because in this Diddy world that we're in these days. Allegedly more people need to come forward. Well, after Krishan's claims went viral, the plot thickened. Once her and Taseki's sister Charity reposted an old IG live, they were all on. So do you think this is just sisters who are jealous of one another? Do you think that this is ratings for the show? Because here we are talking about it. Uh, what do you think? I think it's a lot of trauma. I think I believe Krishan. And I feel like something must have happened to Taseki too as a kid. I just feel like there's a lot of like baggage and a lot of trauma that they have. Well, let me say this. Krishan, you know I love you. Taseki, I love you from a distance because I don't know you. So now Jason Lee, he was talking on his show about the whole Krishan and Taseki thing. And he was speaking facts. Like, I'm glad that Krishan got some people on her side. Because everybody on the internet trying to come for her. Her former friends trying to come for her. Taseki swear up and down she innocent. Like, hell no. Nah. She's not going to just come out with that for no reason. And like, I just respect the fact that Jason Lee, he ain't trying to clout chase. He ain't trying to pick sides. He just calling it how he see it. Like, this is not the first time that Krishan just randomly brought it up. It was shit back in the day from the nephew, from Krishan, from other people. Like, Tzatziki, she was fast growing up. Like, she was doing way too much. And most likely, somebody was doing something to her. And then she just doing it to other people. Because the nephew came out talking about the truth of their game that they used to make them play. And talking about let's play house and all that other weird shit. And my thing is, like, why the hell was the parents? Like, that's what's sad about this thing. But I think their mama was on drugs and alcohol. Who knows where the daddy was at? So when you got a house full of kids, you know what I'm saying, probably going through all type of shit, like being broke and 
just going through puberty and not knowing too much about your body and you just doing inappropriate shit with other family members, like, that shit is real. When there's no adult supervision or the adult is on drugs or some shit, that's when the kids tend to start doing crazy shit. Like, they don't got no supervision, so they just doing shit. Their brain's not fully functioning, so they just doing what they think they know or they just doing what happened to them. It just passed down, like, trauma after trauma. It's sad that most families... They don't pass down money. They don't pass down wisdom. They pass down physical and emotional trauma. And it's so sad, but I'm glad that Krishan and the nephew are actually speaking up. What y'all think about this, your boy B? Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm